Hi there, my name is Vincent, and I'm the current workshop chair for the 3D Printing Club, and I'm going to showcase how to make this lovely uh, engraving ring on Onshape. In case you don't know what Onshape is, it's a free 3D modeling software that we get, and you just need to sign in your email if you don't have it. So now we're going to create a document. I'm just going to call it ring for now. And load, load, load. There we go. So now we have this lovely plane here with uh, front, top, and right viewpoints. These are predetermined planes that the program gives us. And we're going to use them to our advantage. We are going to make a sketch onto the front plane so we could uh, make the ring itself and we're gonna press front here we are we then have like a nice little view here as a result <laughs> so now we get this little center point circle here and we're gonna hover above it making sure there's a yellow square and it's all yellow and stretch it out a bit left click to confirm it and then do it again press escape to get rid of it and now we're going to make the uh, the ring itself, or the size of it anyways. This is just a simple ring for now, but we're going to make it much, much nicer. So we're going to dimension it to the size that we want. In my case, I'm going to make it 0.71 inches. And the outer diameter is going to be 0.88 inches. Typically, it could be whatever you so wish, but I found point eighteen, like point uh point seventeen, point eighteen is like a good range for the ring. It's typically very comfortable around that. Also, to keep in mind that make sure you're in inches. You see, like this little measuring tape. Make sure it's in inches. I'm not entirely sure what the default might be, but inches is a good uh. This is a good way to indicate to make sure you're in the right uh, right placement, just so there's no issues later down the line. Oh, my bad. I'm just going to reposition. And now we're going to make the part that's going to have the engraving on it. So we're going to use this little line tool. And we're going to go onto the outer ring here, the outer circle anyways, and cover it, make it, make sure it's nice and yellow with the little uh, intersecting icon there. That's a constraint, we'll get into that in a second. And bring it out, left click, bring out another one. And now we need that horizontal one there to make sure it's nice and straight. And now we have another one here, ma making sure you see those little two icons. See it's not there, now it's there. So now that'll look nice, press escape. And so now we have the part here. Now we do some more dimensioning with the dimension tool. And we'll make this 0.49. You can make this as big as you want, but this is a good area for me that I found that was not really any troubling in any way. And we're going to dimension this into 0.33. I found this is a good length because it gives a nice small gap here. Makes it look pretty nice. So now, you notice how these two are not on the same length? We're going to fix that. I'm going to use a constraint here in this icon. You do the little arrow and go to equal. So now we're going to make them equal. So now they're equal uh, by showing it here, show constraints. And you see it here, equal, and it's highlighting the both of them. So there we go. Get rid of that and press escape just so we have the little mouse. But you notice it's not really centered, so we're going to try to center it in a little freaky way. So we got this line tool here, go to the center, making sure it's got that yellow icon. And we're going to bring it over to the sides here. And we're going to use the equal dimension again, or constraint, and equal them. And there we go. Now it's nice and centered, we have it where we want it, and it looks pretty darn nice. So now we get to the next step, we confirm the sketch by clicking on this, and we're going to use the extruding tool. 
we're going to make sure it's a solid, it's new, and we're going to start clicking on some places. We're going to click on the area of the ring, this inner area, this upper area, side area, and this other side area. This is pretty much everywhere except the inner circle, like we left click on, to extrude it outwards. You can extrude it to however like big you want it to be, but uh, hold on just a second. I'm going to bring it to what I previously had. Uh, 0.24, 0.24 inches. You could write down inch, or you could just press enter because we have the measurement uh, down pat in the bottom right there. So now we have it in 0.24 inches. We confirm it, and now we got the ring. It looks pretty nice right now, but it's going to be even better once we put the engraving on it. So now we make another sketch, and we put it on the area we want to engrave. We put it up there. I put That area should be the top view. So now we go to the top and zoom in. We're going to use this lovely text tool here, and it's going to make a little box. You could drag it out, holding down left click, and now we make the text. We can make it something simple, like VA or something. That's just my initials. Or we could write down Vincent. But it's good to be careful and just make it simple because this is pretty small. So printing it out, printing it out something simple would be much easier to 3D print. Just to make sure there's no errors. So now we got this box with text, but where do we want it? I'm going to put it relatively in the center. So I'm going to put it here with the dimensions 0.13 and 0.13. You can fiddle with this however you uh, want because it's going to change the size of it as you do it. It's not going to be one, uh, one simple font size, but mess with it however you want. Now I'm clicking on the top two lines here to dimension that, just so it's the length that I want, 0.05. This is just what I found to be pretty nice, nice and convenient. So now there we go. You can tell it's fully constrained and like you can't really do anything with it when it's fully black. So that means like we're pretty much done. So now we press on the check mark here and we go to the extruding tool again. We click on the box here, and oh, looks like we made a little mistake. We're, uh, we're adding something right now. We need to remove something. But oh, it went all the way through. We need to fix that. So now, oh, my bad. So now we grab this little arrow here, and we bring it back. We bring it back as much as we want until it's nice and like somewhat in the middle. But I'm going to change it to a very specific length, 0 0.078. This was a nice length for me, and I think it could be pretty good for you. So there we go. There's our engrave, engraved ring. Hold on just a sec. I'm going to click on this. And there we go. There's the little uh, engraved ring. And yeah. Hope this helped. And uh, if you have like any issues, there's uh, typically like a search tool. And uh, you could typically find it online if, uh, if need be. But yeah. Uh, here's, here's the ring. Hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, print. And uh, I think you'll like it. Bye.